In the earlier gospel this morning, there is this incredible display of support. Hundreds and hundreds of people waving their palm branches, acclaiming Jesus as the Lord, as the King, as the one who is to come. And I wonder if there were any bystanders at all who had any inkling how the week would end how the forces would turn from those shouts of acclamation to abandonment on Calvary. Those throngs of support turned into three people at the foot of the cross, one of his disciples, his mother, and his aunt. That's all from throngs to three. We've all been there. We know what it's like. We know what it's like to have great friends during good times. But when things go south, no one is there. We know what it's like, we've been there, to have family members who never miss a family dinner, a birthday party, an anniversary, or wedding, or any celebration. But the minute mom and or dad get sick, they're nowhere to be found. We've all been there. We know sports fans who, after three or four or five losing seasons, sell their season tickets and never show their face at the stadium again. And we won't even talk about Aaron and Olivia. <laughs> do we do that with Christ too? When all is well, we are grateful and faithful. And when all is not well, we feel abandoned and think to ourselves, He's not really my friend. This is the end. I'm sure we all know a relative or family member. I was just talking to one this week who said, ever since mom died at 49, I haven't stepped inside of a church. Let us, this week, be one of the three. Let us cheer him on today and stand under the cross on Friday. And hopefully, that will spill over into all of our other relationships, that we can be true friends, that we can be faithful family members, that we can be disciples of Jesus Christ, not only in name.